hello i'm lou and welcome to my art channel uh, as you can see this is the latest scrawler box uh, this one is for the month of may um i am excited to see what i've got inside but i do know what's in there as i spoiled it for myself when i went on instagram um seeing all the lovely artwork um but never mind i'm very very excited to see what i've got inside so let's go check it out Oh wow, that's very colourful. Well, let's get everything out of the box. Okay, so we'll look at the art supplies first and it's already peeking through. Okay. Um, so we have the sticker, um, the scroller sticker, very colourful and bright, love the colours. And then the prompt is Kaleidoscope, what do the colours mean to you? Taking inspiration from this month's featured artist, we encourage you to explore what emotions colours evoke for you and how that might be expressed onto a page. Overlap, reflect and repeat to form your very own harmonies and collision of magical colour. I actually really, really do like this prompt. Uh, I think that's a, a really good prompt to have. Oh, won't look at the back. Let's just look at the art supplies. Um, so we have uh, the um, sweet in the box, which is bubble gum. I will not be using that. I'm not really a fan of bubble gum, but it's, I, I like the fact that they've incorporated a sweet that literally represents the colors and everything in the box so that's cool um we have a copic multi-liner in black which is a 1.0 um i did use one last week actually and got a nice little thick nib there very nice i, I like the fact that the pen is kind of like a glittery no focus there we go yeah i like that and we have a pencil, which is the Faber-Castell 2B pencil. And then we have three times primary set of Ecoline Geotip um, pens. Um, so it's a watercolor paint, concentrated transparent watercolor paint. Let's have a look. You can see the colours just there, yellow, very bright pink and blue. Oh, very nice. Let's pop those down. So we have a bullet nib, quite chunky. And we have a chisel tip. Just seeing, so this one's called Sky Blue. Nice. And then this one is called Lemon Yellow. And we have Magenta. So not very many, um, art supplies in this box but it's amazing what you can create with just these art supplies so i'm very excited with that box it's, i love the colors and then look at that cover absolutely amazing I'll quickly go through the schooler schooler zine uh, so just a little brief description of what the art supplies are in the box um and then the featured artist which is francesca franceschi and there's just a little Q and A with her. Look at the, that's amazing. Love it. And then just like little tips and tricks of how to use the art materials and um, color theory, which is good to know. I love that. That you can see the art print right there. That's beautiful. And then the schooler gallery. So all the artists that were picked out for. Um, the schooler box of 91 
Okay, some really cool artwork there. That was not my most favourite box, to be honest. But I gave it a go. But I do love the artwork here. They just look amazing. Um, and then the top three, so the three that were picked out using um, those art supplies in that box. So Holly Waters, Oliver Hall and Isabel Segoviano. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. And then uh, just a little bit of information, life in polka dots. Cool. So that was the scholar zine and this is the art print that is very mesmerizing kind of messing with my eyes a little bit beautiful i love the the, the layers of color the way that the colors change that's stunning so, yeah. and then it's just the credentials just there if you wanted to go and check out the artist i definitely will and then we have the paper so it's a5 mixed media and there's 10 sheets it's 250 gsm so it's got quite a texture to it it's quite thick too yeah very nice okay i am very excited to see how these work um and yeah um let's crack on so the next part will just be the swatching out just playing around with them and then I'll get thinking on the prompt kaleidoscope and go from there. You could lie, but lying only buys you so much time. You could hurt, but hurting's never gonna make it fine. You could shake. Try and shake it off all you can You might fake It's never gonna make you understand
Okay, so we're at the end of the video and these are the two art pieces that I created. To be honest with you, I could have carried on. Um, I had a lot of fun with this box. These art supplies were really, really good. Um, I, I really enjoyed working with them. Um, I love the colours, they're so vibrant and pigmented. And also the fact that you can get um, the green and purple with these colours as well. Um, you can go quite far with the with these um yeah um, i'll go through my process for both of these art pieces so this is the first one that i did um i kind of got the idea from string art um and yeah i i kind of just made me think of kaleidoscope for some reason um so yeah i just drew out a shape which is a hexagon and then using a ruler I just marked equal distance all the way around and then um, drew lines inside and did the same in there and then using the bullet nib of these pens I then um, joined up uh, these points um, and normally what you do is you do like um, the first point and then you go to the second then the second to the third the third to the fourth and this is how you would get this effect um, and then I just by doing these uh, just doing that and then having them overlap each other you have these um, beautiful colors um, like overlapping each other and, and creating a new color and I really did like that if I did cut this out and put a pin in the middle and spun it I think it would actually look like a kaleidoscope um, so I really did like this idea in this process this was quite a lot of fun um, the only time that I used the multi-liner was literally just to outline it, just to clean it up a little bit. I didn't want to, I was in two minds whether or not to go in and just colour in all the negative white space, including in between all of these um, lines, all these shapes here, just colouring it in with black. But to be honest, I think that would ruin it um, and it's very time consuming um so i decided against that so it's quite a simple idea um but it is time consuming um so yeah that's that one and then um because this was a simple one um i did want to do something a little bit more for the video um so i kind of did this one as well um i had a lot of fun with this one i think it looks amazing uh, i really do do love it i love how vibrant these colors are um and as i said like when they overlap you've got these you've got this beautiful purple here and you've got this really bright green yeah i i absolutely love these pens these are very juicy uh, fun pens um so yeah i kind of just I was thinking more with this one like if you were looking in a kaleidoscope and looking at the shapes um, and the colors um, more than anything um, and literally just break it down and that's kind of what I did um, it's very 80s and 90s vibe here but um, I love it uh, so yeah I just colored in some like just like fluidly um, just did some shapes with the different colors um, and then like some squiggles um, some dots and everything um, and then um, just kind of overlap it kind of think about how to where to put these shapes and what I could get from that and then um, with the multi-liner I then just went in and did some patterns some squiggly lines some straight lines some dots some little circles 
and yeah I, I I really really like this one it's very simple again but really effective I really do like it I, the only time that I used the pencil was really to to draw this one out I didn't use it for this one at all um, but I did notice that the featured artist didn't even use the multi-liner uh, or the pencil for this one so um so you don't have to use every art supply um in the box even though it's part of the challenge um uh, the scholar challenge you don't have to um but yeah um i really love the prompt love the art supplies i think it's a really good box overall um the paper itself I don't know if it's the right paper for the art supplies. I know it is a mixed media paper, um, but because these pens are so juicy, um, they're, they're, they're quite a wet pen, um, it, it did kind of soak up the pens and bleed. it did bleed a little bit, as you can see here. Um, and if you did um, layer the colors over one another, um, too much it, it did peel up the paper as well um, luckily I didn't have that with these 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 pieces um, not too much anyway um, but um, yeah um, overall I'm very happy whether I've hit the brief I'm not sure but um, let me know in the comments if I have um, and what you think of my uh, what I've created um, I just want to say also a thank you to everyone that supported me um, on my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate you all. Um, I've just hit the uh, over 500 subscribers and I never, never even thought when I started this YouTube channel that I would ever even hit 500. So I really do appreciate you. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has supported me, who's commented, um, given me um, a thumbs up. <laughs> I really, really am very appreciative. So thank you so much for um, for subscribing. Um, I really, really thank you. Um, so yeah, I I'll leave the video here. Um, th thank you again for watching my videos. Um, please do give me a like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care. Bye.